All right, well, welcome everybody to our first edition here of the Sales Matters as we feature Peyton Lynch from the class of 2015. And I'm so excited to be here for our first time. We, we I think we picked the perfect guest, uh, someone who would not be able to be here in person, who's a thousand miles away, but we're able to showcase her today. So Peyton is a, is a marketing major alumna and a 2018 Distinguished uh, Marketing Alumna. Uh, great award, I guess, from Dr. Magori. Um, so Peyton, thank you for joining us today. And, and certainly feel free to share some stories about you. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, everyone, my name is Peyton Lynch and I am a 2015 DeSales graduate. Um, I am also an Allentown native. I went to Parkland High School, uh, graduated from there in 2012, um, and really just grew up in that area. Absolutely love it and miss it. I visit often, especially for fall, um, because here in Orlando, where I'm at now, uh, we don't really get those beautiful uh, foliage that you all get at home. <laughs> um, but from there, after I left to sales, I was working full time at a marketing firm in Bethlehem. Absolutely loved it. Got it through an internship that started when I was at to sales. Uh, but my my dream was always to work for Disney. So I left that full time salary job, took a big risk, and took a six month internship at the Walt Disney Company. Uh, Glad I did because that six months turned into uh, many years that I've been able to continue with the company up to this point. Um, and I also was able to get my MBA from Florida Institute of Technology, which um, Disney paid, put the put the bill for That's it. Nice. So um, always do that where you can. And uh, my current role at the company is a senior product manager where I work on the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. Awesome, awesome. All right, so so we went from Center Valley all the way <laughs> to, to Orlando. So, and, and I found this really interesting. You're one of five alums currently who's working for the Walt Disney Company. So how do you feel like your experience here at the sales kind of led you to this journey that now is you know over a thousand miles away? You know, I will always tell anyone who asks and is currently at the school, especially to take advantage of the career center and those resources you have available to you. I was able to participate in so many different internships during my time at the sales. The access you have to them is phenomenal, as well as the practice interviewing, things of that nature, being able to get class credit and get paid for internships. I mean, it was just a win, win, win all around. But I think most importantly is I was able to get that on the job training I learned a lot about what I liked about a role, but I also learned a lot about what I didn't like to do in a job. And that helped me to know that, you know, I really wanted to position myself in a way that got me to working for the Walt Disney Company. Having had those internship experiences, I knew that was the best foot in the door, especially at a massive company like Disney. Um, and then, you know, having had that on the job training from other experiences, I was already able to come in off the bat with work experience and you know really put all that uh learning i had at the sales to the test awesome i mean it, it's a great story and you know obviously i've had the pleasure of speaking with you a few times now and and putting this all in the works so you know as as we got to this point i know you have some other great things coming up besides just your your experiences at disney which you know are awesome to hear everybody can relate with disney in some way so can you share some of those other things that you have forthcoming with us Sure. So I think in uh, COVID-19 and how everything has come about in this past year, uh, we've all heard that word pivot or even I I've been calling it parallel pathing during the pandemic. And so it's finding those alternate passions um, and, and really bringing those to light. So in the in the past year, um, I've started to work on a project that's pretty near and dear to my heart. And I think will really resonate with the sales community as well, given I recognize how challenging this year has been for this community. I mean, not only have you all been living through a pandemic, you're trying to learn through a pandemic. And I also recognize the great tragedy of loss that you've had in your community, specifically pretty recently with um, some current and former students at the school. So um you know in a year full of challenges and a life full of challenges i always say you know you're either 
in a storm or preparing for one. <laughs> and I've, I've also personally been in my own storm over the past year. Uh, COVID-19 pandemic definitely impacted the central Florida area in the ways that you can imagine. Tourism, people really weren't traveling and still aren't. Um, my husband lost his job. We both worked for the Walt Disney Company. I started working remote. And then in the midst of all of that, uh, we have been struggling with a battle with infertility, which, you know, is just one of those things, you know, like you don't really learn about how to do your taxes or, you know, that you might have trouble building a family someday. And, and these are the things that we're encountering. And so in this time, it's been even more challenging um, to, to deal with and go through. But one thing uh, from that I've learned from my husband that really resonated with me is from a past experience he had that's really continued to shape and grow him over the past 20 years. My husband's father, uh, Robert Henry Lynch Jr., was a um, property manager at World, uh, Two World Trade Center over in New York City. And unfortunately, he was killed in the attacks on 9-11. He uh, was outside of the building at the time he called home. And for anyone who remembers 2001 technology, they had those cassette tapes of you know uh, the um, voice message mas machines. And they, the family does still have that message to this day. And uh, he told them he loved them, that he would call them as soon as he could. Uh, but unfortunately, the next call never came because he did go back into the building um, to save others. And I always knew that having this happen to my father-in-law and my, my husband's father really shaped who he was and made him more resilient but I didn't really even start to understand it until this past year, as I saw him going through the challenges we've been going through to see him be able to pick himself up time and time again and continue just taking the next step forward. It really inspired me to take a new perspective on the way that I've been handling the challenges in our life. And then I realized that this isn't just for me, there's others out here whether it's the sales community or others who are just going through a tough time and could really benefit from hearing the stories of the children of 9-11. And so um, that's what I've been dedicating my time to now, interviewing countless 9-11 surviving children, hearing their stories, unpacking how they got you know, from tragedy to triumph 20 years later, um, and packaging it up all into a nice little bow with a book uh, that will be coming out in August. Well, wow. and we have on the bottom ticker um, where anybody can go to, to see the pre-sale. Um, you know, I'm very excited to, to, to read it just because I've certainly talked to you um, a few times about it now. But, you know, the one thing I took away, I watched a couple of your interviews. I know um, the one I, I the one thing I really took away was even if, you know, somebody doesn't have a relative or you know family member who had passed away in 9-11, it's really your story, whether it's the infertility, whether it's um, you know the tragic loss in 9-11, it's so much about the perseverance as a person and just getting through that time, whether it's grieving, whether it's you know coming out of you know such a tragic event. Um, and and I, I feel like there's just so many lessons, whether it's the, the sales community or just you know our society today that you know we've gone through so much over the last you know basically you know 12, 14 months. As, as a society in a whole, um, could you touch base on just, you know, one lesson, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a plethora of them, but one lesson from the book that you think will really hit home? Absolutely. So uh, to your point, right, 9-11 is the, the great connector in this book because many either remember where they were or have read about it in a history book at this point. But the message is that grief is universal and we all have the opportunity to step forward and really rise from the ashes of our challenges. Uh, I think the biggest thing that I have learned and started to put into practice and certainly not perfect, but getting there every day closer and closer to um, walking through this space of grief is really that it's giving yourself that space to grieve. I think I'm often caught up in the, well, I work for Disney. People just assume that I have a big bubbly personality, which I think really is a part of who I am, but it's not all that I am. And we are allowed to feel more than one emotion, even about the same topic or the same thing. 
Um, it's okay to recognize that, yes, this has been really challenging, but there have been some really good opportunities that have come from this too. Um, and so giving myself that moment and to just ground myself and say, yep, you know what, what I need right now is a good cry. And if that means in a world of Zoom, I, I work completely on, online now, if I have to turn my camera off that day, then that's what I have to do. And that is totally okay. And what I found is as I've opened up about that and actually shared with my teammates, like, hey, I'm having an off day, I'm gonna go off camera so I'm not a distraction to the team, but I want you to know I'm listening and engaged. It's opened the door for them to then share with me and say, thank you, because I've been going through it too. And you just gave me that space to grieve. So it's something that we can give and pass along to each other. And that's just been a resounding theme that I've heard from many children of 9-11. They've had 20 years to go through this and give themselves that space. And, and yet still grief is not a straight line. So all the days are not perfect and they still have to give themselves the time to walk through that. Yeah, wow. Well, I mean, such, such a, I just feel like it resonates with, with so many different things. And, and as you spoke about a little bit before, you know, our DeSales community was, was rocked in so many ways. You know, I mean, whether it's, uh, you know, the pandemic, you know, various things that go through with, you know, can I graduate, you know, on time? Is my graduation going to be in person? To then the fact of realizing, you know, it's probably going to be virtual for those in the class of 2020. And then getting into, okay, getting a job without, you know, being able to interview in person. And so many things, you know, and then obviously leading to March of 2021, where, where you know, we had the tragic incident affect, you know, our community. But, you know, in reality, learning how much we just need one another and I think it's been, you know, such a big way of, of learning that. And, and as our community continues to come together, I mean, to be honest, it's been overwhelming from, I mean, you reaching out as, as, as an alum to so many other alums and, and, and community members just saying, hey, what can we do? You know, and anything we can do, can we speak? Can can we give? What What is it that we can do to, to just help, you know, bring this community back? And, and, you know, I think what we found was, just that togetherness and knowing that we're walking in this journey. And and like your story, you know, there's been times where we just need to understand that we can grieve. And, and like you said, there's those days that, you know, your coworkers and I think our community just realize it's okay. And, and right, right. you know, we need those times. So, um, you know, I'm so appreciative of being able to, to have you come in um, in September and, and really make this, um, you know, share your story more in detail um, so the idea is, you know, on, on September 9th, um, as part of our virtual scholar series, so essentially it's our expert series of those who are in the field being able to talk on a topic that they have really dug into as, you know, they're passionate about it, number one, but also, you know, the experiences that really can help, as we've been talking about, you know, guide the journey of, of even more ways of dealing with things. Um, so, you know, I, I'm so grateful that you're going to be able to come back. I think our students and it goes so much further than just them, though. You know, you know, our entire sales community really will be open to this event. Um, obviously, there's more details that, that will be able to come. Um, I definitely want to touch base, though, before we, we, we leave on on besides just where people can go get the book, um, you know, with that tracker. But but what options do they have? Um, when they when they do go through the pre-sale and how are how are everything going with the pre-sale are we are we close or are we, did we hit the, the number how, how are we doing with that sure so again um the book is available now through uh may 2nd for pre-sale on that uh indiegogo link there below um and i am really happy to share that in the first 24 hours we were actually able to fund the entire book project, which wow. it was just incredible waking up the next day. Um, I was definitely having a little bit of that imposter syndrome. <laughs> if you've ever felt that, I'm sure you all have, um, whether or not people are going to care about these stories. And I think the community just really came out and, and showed that how much they do matter. Um, and so because we've, we've met that goal, uh, we are now donating all of the rest of the funds that are made during this pre-sale campaign to the Tuesday's Children organization which was founded after 9-11 and supports families impacted not just by 9-11, but uh, other families impacted by war, violence, or other 
um, mass shootings and things of that nature. Uh, so that is an organization near and dear to my heart. It's done a lot to help my husband and his family and other members of that community. So uh, we're really, really looking forward to giving back. And uh, we're only $1,000 away from hitting our um, $12,000 goal, which would then allow us to donate um, $4,000 to Tuesday's children. So wow. would love your support there. And then there's also some really exciting perks if you do uh, join us within the pre-sale campaign that you won't get uh, when the book publishes in August. So members of the author community, uh, no matter which tier you purchase on the pre-sale campaign, you uh, will be able to be a part of that author community. Well, what does that mean? Um, you'll hear from me all about the editing and the rest of the process I'm gonna go through. So you kind of get a peek under the hood into that writing process. And then you'll also be able to help pick the cover for my book. Now from there, uh, within the different tiers, there's also additional perks that you might get. So those who uh, choose the pre-sale the pre-sale for the paperback, you would get a signed copy of the book in uh, August when it releases. And then beyond that, there are some other tiers that include some talkbacks with the author, um, as we've, we've talked about singing telegrams because um, <laughs> I was originally a musical theater major before I came to the sales. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to be able to, to, again, share with others what this writing process looks like and then get these stories out there because I really think it is um, an un, under um, identified group of the 9-11 community. We haven't heard their stories yet. Yeah, and especially with it coming up on the 20th anniversary and what we've, you know, gone through as our community, you know, I'm just so grateful uh, to celebrate all the accomplishments you have. And, 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 you know, even though it's a tragic incident that had to happen, it's really provided and seems to provide you a platform to be able to, be able to help others. And I think that's, you know, what our community at the sales has really always been about, whether it's alumni, whether it's just, you know, community, whether it's parents, students, faculty, staff. Um, but just being able to turn, you know, some sort of event into something that we can learn from and grow together. Um, certainly, as we have the link, you know, below, I'm hoping our alumni community can get behind this. I, I, you know, we are all kind of in this together and, and supporting our alums. To me, it, it is the best way that, that we can, you know, continue to move forward. Um, you know, anything that we can do to help you. I'm so excited for September 9th. But, um, you know, best of luck to you. I, I'm, I, I know that our DeSales community will help you get to that 12,000 number. So I'm, I'm certainly excited to see that go up, but you know, uh, I'm so appreciative of you joining us today and I'm really looking forward to September 9th as well. Thank you so much, Dan. I'm looking forward to it as well. Awesome.